Hi guys, you may have noticed over the years on my YouTube videos I get easily sidetracked. I was going to make the rubber band powered aeroplane in this kit. I probably still will, but I've just noticed my latest solar rocker isn't rocking. I bought it because it was cheap. It's brand new but it was only 79 pence. They're normally a pound. And I put it in the front of the car and it was rocking away quite happily. But I think it was probably rocking because of the motion of the car. That really doesn't seem to be rocking in the sunlight. Oh, there's no direct sunlight at the moment, but you can clearly see all the others are quite happy. So that really ought to be making more of an effort. So I think we're going to do a quick tear down and have a look, see why it isn't working. Well, it's rocking very well, but I think that's just because it's got particularly good bearings. I'll just shine a light on it direct. That ought to be Yeah, that's what it should be doing. So we'll have a look, see what the problem is. It might be mechanical, it might be electrical. quick glance, I don't see anything obviously wrong with it. I like the um, construction. Looks like we can actually pop that little coil out quite easily. On most of these, they're glued to the bottom plate. But that's on its own little unit. I like this. It's not working, but I like it. I wonder what the problem is. I suppose we could try a putting a battery across it, across those two terminals there, see if that drives it. It really does rock very easily, which is I think what mis misled me. I thought it was working fine in the car. Let's just try that light again. You compare that to him. Yeah. Right. We'll put a battery on it and see if that will drive it. That's one way of just checking that it's not actually the solar panel. I mean, it looks fine. It looks like it's soldered okay. Uh, I'll get a one and a half volt battery. Well, that's a battery connected straight across the solar panel. So 
So it rocks very easy when I touch anything, which is very confusing. But that's putting, as I say, a battery straight across that panel, and that's not making it rock. So, if that's not what's doing it, I'm going to have to take this out and have a closer look. I do like that. That's the first one of these I've seen that has that effectiveness that you can just click it out. And the wires are all the way there. From the panel, they're not loose. I wonder if that is missing. That looks like that's not connected across there. There should be. Oh, let's zoom in. Are we in focus? I hope we are. I think I might have spotted the problem. This nice modular coil has got two metal tags on it. On this side, the tag is soldered nicely to the circuit board. On that side, it looks like there's a gap. I think we just simply haven't got a connection across there. So I'm going to put my solder iron on that, solder that across there, and see if that fixes it. I do like this design. I've never seen it before. But I like it a lot. Well, that looks like all it was. Just a poor solder joint. Much better. Well, that was worth looking inside. I've certainly never seen one like that. Nice, simple, modular design. No glue to get in the way. In fact, ideal for a lot of those little projects that we use these solar rocker electronics for. The circuit board and the coil are very popular for um, pulse motors and things like that. Yeah, pleased with myself now. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily. So don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee.
you can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.